myself, you're not gonna die in this hallway. For the first time tonight, we are hearing from the officers trapped in a fiery gun battle in Rolando almost a year ago. At today's True Blue Luncheon, the three officers said one piece of equipment saved their lives. And now they're raising the money to give a shield to every San Diego police officer. 10 News reporter Cassie Carlisle held that shield in her hands today. This piece of equipment is hefty. It's got a steel metal plate inside of it. And officers say it's a lifesaver. It was kind of a, a moment of shock. I saw two bright flashes. June 23rd, 2018 was the day officers feared might be their last. Two of the rounds struck me. He fell literally right in front of me. It was probably one of the uh, hard driving moments ever in my life there. The distress call turning into a gunfight, injuring two officers and ultimately ending with gunman Joe Darwish's death. This shield handed to officers with seconds to spare. And as soon as Francisco got the shield up in front of them, it took uh, another volley of gunfire and, and some of the rounds impacted the shield. Just a great feeling because we had some form of protection. An incredibly difficult moment to relive. The shield absolutely saved our life. And, uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but it, uh, it definitely saved us for sure. <laughs> Thursday's goal to raise enough money to ensure every single brother and sister in blue is protected. But holding the physical piece of equipment that was actually shot that day, I think really brings everything full circle, gives us uh, the idea of everything. On Harbor Island, Cassie Carlisle, 10 News. A bullet hole in that shield that protected them. The 19-year tradition is hoping to raise $115,000 today for the San Diego Police Foundation. That's the nonprofit that supports things such as shield and the canine dogs for those officers. Fundraising will continue at the next event. That is the Gold Shield Gala. It's on September 28th.